Josh wasn't the most popular kid. He was shy and quiet. But he had a, the friends that he did have were really good, true friends. But they didn't have any idea what was going on with him either. When Josh was in fourth grade, his father and I separated and divorced. And it was hard on all of us, as to be expected. But we got Josh help and had him see a counselor, and that seemed to help. And then when he was in fifth grade, he was being bullied at his school. And again, his father and I talked to the principal and the teachers and the parents of the kid that was bullying him. And that helped a little bit, but it didn't really get better until he got into sixth grade, because then he was in a new school, new environment. And he started to really perk up that, that year when he was in sixth grade. He was involved in all the school activities, and it's quite taekwondo and baseball. And for the first time ever, he said that he actually liked school, which he never said before. So we thought, oh, this is great. He's finally coming out of his depression, and he's back to his happy self. And then that summer day, it just came as a shock to everyone when he killed himself. We don't know why. He didn't tell anybody what was going on, what was wrong. So we're left wondering, why did he do it? We don't know why. So I'm asking you as a mom who's lost her kid to please, please talk to somebody. I'm sure you've all grown through, gone through some really difficult times in your life, or if you haven't, you will. That's just a part of life. There's going to be hard things to go through. And we're not meant to go through life alone. So I'm asking you, please talk to somebody. Find an adult that you trust. And there's a lot of adults out there that want to help you.